Hands where I can see them, boyfriend! No, no, stay away from me! Come on, road trip. And now. Come on, pal, don't do this. Just just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal worker's comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, jail's the place for you, for sure. How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection.
gonna get us some food. No, you said that. I said I wasn't. I'm the one trapped hiding up here day and night. I ain't had nothing but potato chips in over a week. It ain't my fault you blew up the lab. Again. And anyway, I got plans. I hope by plans you ain't talking about Dirty Debbie. Don't you dare call her that. That girl's like a door handle. Covered in germs and everyone gets a turn. Hey, screw you. She's changed. I ain't sure I want any food you've handled now. Which is lucky because you ain't getting none. You're coming with me one way or another! Jesus, anybody think you didn't trust me? Your chariot awaits, sir. Woo, I like your style. Whoa! Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well... Years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, well, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? What do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. 
You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating, and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male company, huh? What'd you think, huh? 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 No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper, and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? We had some good times, didn't we? No, we really didn't, Larry. I sold you drugs. Then I can only assume you started buying drugs off someone else, then started selling your own drugs. These, on their own, do not constitute good times. We had a real nice cook site this time, too. Next thing you know, whole trailer goes up like a rocket. Must have gotten, gotten lazy again with the measurements and the shaking thing. As a wise man once said, rarely does a tweaker... Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Coming with me, sunshine! Sayonara, loser!
maybe I'll just kill you after all. Come and get it. Your chariot awaits, sir. Bro, come on, seriously? So I forgot to show for court. No biggie. Lesson learned, let's move on. Is that the best pitch you can come up with? Are you kidding me? I pitched to world leaders, man. I'm in banking. Complex derivatives. Ah! Ah, well, what are the chances? I'm in banking too. Large withdrawals. Then you know where I'm coming from. Play hard, go big, no regrets, right? All I'm regretting is not killing you. But the journey's still young. Wow, bus kill alert. Come on! Don't tell me you didn't rush your tits off back there, Zazazin! <laughs> An original getaway. I'll give you that. That's me, dog. Unconventional. You see my ink, right? I mean, you never guess I have an MBA. I'm going full sleeve this year, FYI. It's like when I look at you, I see homeless crack, but you're really a badass white knuckle bounty hunter. Dudes like you and me, we will not... We will not let normality define us. I met this... I met this hedge fund guy called Dom a couple years back who got me into the exports. Guy was a real douche -arama, but he taught me that's okay to be a douche so long as you're spiritual and alive. It's about taking on nature and winning and filming it. Hello, Mud. Look at the two of you. Have you been keeping handsome? Uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Maud. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then, I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet. can see him, boyfriend. No, Stay back. You're not taking me in. This is discrimination. Stay away from me. Ah, maybe I'll just kill you after all. to defend myself. You're a slave to the system. I won't let you control me. You're coming with me one way or another. All right, all right, stop. I'll come quietly. Oh, good, good. Now heal. And no begging.
Your chariot awaits, sir. Stop pretending to be countercultural. Hey, cabrón! You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of a nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp? It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for a sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action until we all turn on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally, beat him up with a fire extinguisher, and I'd do it again. Screw the police! Nothing but mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well.